Hey guys, Drinking Ale here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do an oil change on a 2013 Ford F-150 V6 EcoBoost. So y'all get you some popcorn, soda, come along with us. Okay guys, today we're going to need a few parts and tools, and so here they are. We're going to have two ramps to pull up the truck up onto, two jack stands, six quarts of 5W30, some paper towels, socket and a ratchet socket set not sure of the size yet but we will find out two wood scotches for the back tires an oil pan a funnel an oil filter wrench and an oil filter all right so let's get started okay so i have the truck pulled up on the ramps I have the jack stands underneath the front end too for extra support those ramps are rated for like i don't know ten thousand pounds a piece or whatever they are but i don't play any games so I like double protection, so got the jack stands there in the front in case those ramps collapsed. Next, I put the uh, wood scotches underneath the back tires. That way there's no rolling back. Those are little four by six wood scotches, pressure treated. The bigger, the better, but those are what I have. So here's another look at the wood scotches. So they're designed to, since this is up on ramps, and it holds the truck from rolling back in case something was to, you know, let loose to break or something, which it won't. But anyway, emergency brake is on and it is in part. All right, first thing I like to do is take the oil cap off, wipe it up a little bit around the edges, and then wipe it top of it right here where it goes in. I do this because uh, when you're draining the oil, you create a siphon through there and an airflow, and it helps it to drain much better. If you have the cap on, it just you can tell it's just like the same principle as pouring out a gas can. It's trying to it's trying to get airflow. Anyhow, pull up the dipstick. Wipe it off, lay it over here. All right, now we're gonna get underneath it and drain the oil. First thing you gotta do to uh, drain the oil is you gotta take this little, kind of like a felt <laughs> under cover. It's got four little twist screws on it one here and one there and then one on the back and one here you got to crawl under both sides of the truck to get it unless you feel like crawling all all underneath there on your belly so there's two of them i'm gonna go to the other side and get the other two Take it and pull it out of the way back here. Okay, the next thing we got to do is loosen this uh, this nut off this oil pan. There it went. Kind of work it down through there a good ways. And once I start getting pretty close, see if I can't run run it out with my fingers. There's oil pan under here. All right, see if I can do this without making a mess. I kind of pulled up here like so, so I can hit it at first and then There we go. Let's 
set it down here real easy you got to be careful or it will get everywhere i don't have one of those big oil pans where you can really have room to mess up but whatever as it's first going you have to kind of position the oil pan as it slacks off when it first drains it'll shoot way out and then as it starts you know emptying out it'll it'll back on down you got to move the pan accordingly this is what i was talking about when you take the oil cap off up top it helps it flow really good if that oil cap was still on right now it'd just be sluggish and not drain properly anyway whatever your preference is as long as you drain the oil we're gonna let it drain here for a second i like to wipe the uh bolt clean set it to the side to where you can uh, be ready for it to put it back on Here's another view of it going into the pan here. Just let that drain for a pretty good bit so it drains all the way and then once it does we'll put that bolt back in there and then we'll reposition the pan to take off the oil filter and drain it all i've done now is reposition the oil pan underneath the uh, oil filter where it drains there's a little square cut out in the bottom metal plate to where when you take the oil filter off it drains right through there i'll show you what i'm talking about Let's see if i can get under here and show you See that square cut out right there? You have a little better look at it. Anyway, I'm gonna get up top and uh, take the old filter off and it'll drain in here. Okay, I'm gonna try to give you a look at the oil filter. It's real hard to see, so I'll do the best I can. Got two different chances at it. It's this little white oil filter at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Real hard to see. I think you can see it right through there. Maybe if not, maybe you can see it right through there. Anyway, I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to film this part, but I'll do the, be do the best I can. More likely than not, I'm gonna have to take it loose and then you'll just kinda have to see what you can see. Okay guys, in this next step, I'm gonna take the oil filter off. I already have the old filter wrench down in there. I'm going to see if I can't break it loose. Okay, it's not too hard to break loose, but this is one of the tougher old filters to reach out of all the trucks I've owned, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, I got it broke loose. Come back up here and lay this filter wrench there. And then take it the rest of the way off. You can change this thing or take it off from the bottom if you got like a lift and all that, but I don't have that. So it's easier for me to get here or otherwise I gotta take the metal plate off at the bottom. And I don't wanna do that. Almost got it. Okay. Let's see if I can't get this out of here. There's the culprit. <laughs> it's just so hard to, I guess, on this particular model to reach it from the top, but it can be done either way, like I say. So I'm gonna get on the bottom and dump this out.
in the pan. This is the oil filter, oil draining. I'm gonna pour the rest of this out in here. I'm gonna take you up underneath there if you can see where it's draining out of that little square cutout like I was telling you. So what we have to do is, is just let that finish draining. And then once it's drained, we'll get back up top and clean up around it and uh, put the new oil filter on there. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, the oil filters finish draining, we're gonna put the new oil filter on. So what I'm gonna do first is take me some paper towels, reach down in here and uh, clean it up the best I can down there. Okay, got it wiped up. All right. We got the uh, Motorcraft oil filter. This particular one here is a uh, FL500S. So we're gonna take it out. I've already uh, got some oil on my finger and grease this little ring up slightly where it gets a good seal. You do that every time you put a new filter on there. So we're gonna take the new filter and screw it back on. It's kind of tedious, but you just got to work through it. I got it snug on there, firm as I can get it. Then I'm going to give it one more good turn. All right. That's got that. Okay, guys, I just got through putting the uh, oil filter back on. So what I'm going to do now is uh, temporarily I had this little bolt plug back in the pan where it wouldn't drip everywhere when I slid the pan over there to drain the oil filter. So now I'm going to take this off one last time and I'm going to drain the excess oil out of there and then uh, that'll be it. We'll put it back on. When I take this uh, bolt out of here, the last little bit will drip out of there. All right, got a bunch of threads, I'll say that. All right, that'll be the last little bit that drips out of there. Let me go get a paper towel. Okay, you should be finishing that beer pretty quick. Clean up your bolt again. <laughs> Set it to the side. I'm gonna finish letting this drain and then uh, we'll put the bolt back in. Okay guys, as you can see, it's pretty much quit draining. So we're gonna go ahead and put the, uh, the bolt back in here. wipe this excess oil out right there and then finger tighten as much as you can which won't be much because it's kind of tight anyway get your ratchet snug this baby up I'm gonna slide this pan out of the way for right now to where 
it don't get in my way and I dip my elbow in it. All right, there that is. All right. Tighten this back up. one more good pull all right that's it okay so we got the uh, bolt tight and we got the uh, oil filter tight snug cleaned up so now that part's done now all we got to do is fill it up okay we've reached that time it's time to fill the oil up the fun part I use this uh, SAE 5w 30 weight oil full synthetic and it's the Super Tech. You'll find it's cheaper to buy five quarts at a time versus an individual quart because it's just outrageous. But you can get this for, I don't know, 15, 16, 17 bucks. Uh, this thing holds six quarts, so I'll put a full one of these in here and then I have another one, then we'll put add another quart from that one. All right, here we go. I wish I had a longer funnel, but I don't. You just gotta be careful, you'll get it everywhere. that drain a minute hopefully when you do this you you have to wipe up just bare minimum but I have had it both ways to where it can make a big mess quick I got lucky I guess all right it's about done That's like it's wanting to do more, doesn't it? All right, that's close enough. We have another one right here. I'm gonna show you something on the side. These have a little measure, measuring gauge. So it's like four quarts, three quarts, two quarts. So we're right around three quarts, so I'm gonna add a quart down to two quarts in this thing. You just kinda have to guess at it. So we're gonna do a little bit and try to, you know, get the rest of it in there. Let's see where that's at. That's about a half. I think that's got it. Okay, we got the six quarts of oil put in there, so now we're just gonna wipe the funnel out and put the uh, oil cap back on and the dipstick back in. So here we go. This funnel where it don't 
drip. Set it to the side. Clean around our oil cap where it goes. Okay. Always never have enough paper towels, but I do today. A lot of times on these oil caps, it'll tell you what goes in there, 5W30. So that way you don't have to pull out your manual. Okay, got that on there. Got the dipstick. That's in there. What we'll do is we'll crank it up and that lets all circulate through the block and then you cut it right back off and then we can get a more accurate reading on uh, the dipstick, which should be good. It holds six quarts, so. Okay, last we're gonna put this uh, cover back on the bottom and then well, that'll be it. Okay, there's just four little twist screws on there with a little handle to hold on to. So make sure they're all tight. That's it. Okay, we're fixing to pull this thing down off the ramp, so we gotta remove the two jack stands and the two scotches from the back end. Okay, we're ready to back it down. Okay, it's time to back it down. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for future videos. Uh, leave me a comment down below and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.